Hello and welcome to a special showcase of the Impact Factor, a programme in partnership with the Chartered Association of Business Schools and ITM Productions. I'm Natasha Kaplinski. Business schools across the UK are having a significant impact on the economy and on society, including on the growth of local firms. What they can do is work with a business school at a university and that's a fantastic way not only to get answers to their problems today but to transfer knowledge, to embed capabilities, to change their cultures. Business schools contribute £13 billion of added value to the UK economy but their research funding has dropped by 12% in recent years. We have world-class faculty great facilities and it's that global focus that we bring that makes it very attractive to come to the UK to study um, and then for us to actually be able to produce all of the great research and teaching. Business schools that partner with local enterprises have built successful innovative collaborations. We take responsibility for growing new talent extremely seriously. Uh, we formalised this responsibility by uh, developing a partnership with Edinburgh Napier University and from that came the UK's first MSc in Business Event Management. Coming up with solutions is very much on the curriculum at Bath Business School where students organise their own profitable graduation event using skills acquired on their course. As we're approaching the fourth industrial revolution with the focus on automation and artificial intelligence, we know that according to the World Economic Forum, creativity and innovation are kind of top skills that employers will be looking for. Understanding how we think is fundamental to the Behavioural Science in Practice programme run for civil servants, managers and consultants at the Shard in London by Warwick Business School. What we want to do is to have a rigorous uh, understanding of human behaviour, which actually has a scientific basis, but also plug that into these, these wider questions of you know, what, are, what are the trends that are going on in society. Improving student employability through a focus on entrepreneurship and innovation is the aim at Brunel Business School. Through work placements, theory becomes practice to the benefit of employer and student. The very, very critical thing for us to how we bring our research to our local community, how we translate them so that this is not stuck in the journal articles, but they can be able to use it. Real world experience is a valuable part of the course at Portsmouth Business School. These students undertook a genuine consultancy. Your team structure is not very clear. It gave us resources we didn't have to look at problems we didn't have time to look at. It's pressure, but it's something that you, that you need to work with because in real life, when you get a job, that's, you're going to deal with real pressure. More business, less school is the model in Canterbury, where personalised support helps students focus on getting a sustainable job. It provided me an opportunity to dive into the job market and pinpoint graduate attributes, what companies are looking for in us as students. Four days a week in a real job, one day a week at university. That's the programme for Bright Start degree apprentices at Deloitte, designed by the Ulster University Business School. It is that blend of learning at university and then applying that learning, which is really elevating the offer we have to our clients. A lot of what the modules which we studied feed into like everyday work life. I definitely feel career ready. Tailoring the course to meet specific business needs, that's the appeal of management degree apprenticeships for companies like Airbus in North Wales. Chester Business School, they know what Airbus want to get from the academic side and how we can apply that in, in our working roles. Fundamentally, we couldn't do it without the business schools. Um, they're providing the education, uh, we're providing the work environment, and we've got to bring those two things together. A virtual learning environment helps deliver the two-year degree apprenticeships for these students by linking them from work placements to their personal tutors. Our vision is that technology is at the heart of the business of the future. There's a need for individual students to develop the skills that they need to be tech savvy, to be flexible, to be great communicators. 
Being tech savvy is certainly vital on the digital marketing course in Derby. There are a lot of different opportunities that they'll give you to go and visit different companies, to provide your ideas, and you've got fresh new thoughts and they're always important to a company. Learning by doing is the ethos at Bristol Business School, where entrepreneurship students set up and run their own businesses, as well as working with local companies. Team entrepreneurship graduates are game changers. It's not just about their knowledge and how to start up a business, but it's about their mindset. They are problem solvers, risk takers, they're creative, and that is what the world is looking for today. A global outlook is fundamental at the Adam Smith Business School in Glasgow, which has built partnerships with other universities like USM in Malaysia. We have research interests here. We're working in biodiversity, digital health, sustainable tourism. We have a double degree with USM. If we have a like, collaboration between the developed country with the emerging country, we will find opportunity. Applying skills in systems thinking learnt at Hull enabled Dr. Lewis Sambo to coordinate the international response to West Africa's Ebola crisis. I could use systems theory in public health. I could uh, address the political, cultural and uh, partnership issues uh, in a more appropriate manner. The world is changing at a phenomenal pace, so organisations need to figure out how do they operate in this uncertain, emergent, dynamic context. Sharing international expertise is vital. Former US President Clinton's role in Northern Ireland's peace process gave a leadership model that's anchored into Queen's University Belfast. So the skills involved in being a good mediator and a good negotiator are key to good leadership. So the ability, for example, to listen. It's about bringing that internationalisation into the classroom so that those students can then debate and discuss the way in which different business cultures and bus different business practices vary across the world. Technology enables students from almost anywhere in the world to join courses online, as at Coventry Business School. What we try to do is to embed the international experience into the learning outcomes of modules and courses. And that can be quite transformative when they're actually putting what they've learned about intercultural competencies into practice. There are some 120,000 students from abroad on business degree courses in the UK. I definitely think that personally my world view and my concept of basically what the world is has been drastically changed for the better. Supporting women in executive roles worldwide is the aim of the Global Women's Leadership Programme at CAS in London. It's had a positive benefit for me, but I'd like to see others follow. A lot of the time women are scared to sort of maybe go into that, that Masters or go into the MBA and having that kind of community that is really inclusive and really encouraging, I think that's just really great. Changing the world for the better is the mission of the University of Southampton. The business school helps solve real-world problems, such as promoting sustainability in hairdressing. Gone are the days you can just be this ivory tower academic and you know, argue amongst yourselves about esoteric theories. We want to be part of the world. We want businesses to help be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Today we're going to be looking at the various different types of carbon or greenhouse gas accounting. Shaping our use of climate changing chemicals is one key area of research at the University of Edinburgh. It's extremely important to have methods that accurately tell us how much we're emitting and also tell us which actions are most effective at reducing emissions. Tackling the big problems is very much the remit of business schools and challenges don't get much bigger than running the NHS. So we make a difference locally here at University Hospitals, Coventry and Warwickshire. We make a difference nationally and we make a difference internationally. It's important for a business school to address the grand challenges of society, such as healthcare. At the Oak Management School we work with many organisations to improve their capabilities. The health of carers themselves is crucial to the NHS. Changing shift patterns will have an impact on staff, so research looked at various factors. Staff absence and sickness, quality of patient care, whether there's been an increase in violence from patients. Small firms like this one have benefited from access to their local, world-class business school, many of which have been awarded the Small Business Charter. 
If you look at the industrial strategy, it, it's really predicated on technology really changing the whole of our economy over the next 10, 20 years. And what business schools can do is, is take advantage of that and work with not only large companies, but the emerging small companies that are important around the country. Business schools are measuring the effectiveness of their impact on their local economies. The University of Bedfordshire Business School sees the relationship as mutually beneficial. We couldn't in reality exist as a business school without ongoing interaction with our local businesses. Uh, they offer a rich opportunity for our students but at the same time they feed into us the latest information that we can potentially use then to educate the business people of the future. This synergy between business schools, their students and the wider economy underpins the impact that business schools are having across society. Thank you for joining me for this special bite-sized version of The Impact Factor, showcasing all of the wonderful work going on in UK business schools. All of the features are available in full on the Chartered Association of Business Schools website. The details are on the screen now. From me and the team here, Goodbye for now.